Hello, my name is Heidi Vega and welcome to the Heal and Learn YouTube channel on the topic of beauty. Well, actually today I want to talk about what is aging. If we want further on, want to speak about how to prolong our health span in life, how we can stay as beautiful and radiant as possible for us, much time as possible, we first have to understand what is aging. What are we talking about when we're talking about aging? What's happening within our body? What's happening within our cells? Because that is what we have to prevent. Them. That is what we have to work again against. So um, let me tell you first, when we speak about aging, what science says about aging. Aging, that's the good news, is not a sickness. Why do I mention that? Well, actually, in the past, scientists did consider aging itself to be a sickness. Well, nowadays, they don't anymore. They say, well, okay, aging is not a sickness, but aging is the main risk factor for all the civilization sicknesses that we have, such as cancer, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and so on. So why is that? Well, we have to, um, to distinguish two different kinds of aging. First of all, there is primary aging. Primary aging is considered to be the natural aging process within our body. We do have a maximum life expectancy. Actually, um, this is on the rise. We are getting older and older, and scientists nowadays, nowadays say that probably our maximum lifespan would be 120 to 150 years. Imagine. But why is it that we normally don't reach this age, this limit? Well, that's due to secondary aging. Primary aging actually is um, due to the normal, um, our cells are dividing, dividing constantly. It's called mitosis. And this mitosis of a single cell has a limit to itself. So it's not endless. So that's why we do have a, a limit to our life expectancy. Well, anyways, it's on, an, on the rise. Um, what is secondary aging? Secondary aging um, is all the contributing factors to the aging process. External factors that I will speak about in the next video and internal factors like for example genetics. So there are different contributing factors that influence the aging process and that enhance aging, that in increase the aging process and uh, accelerate the aging process, the that word. Um, so due to these contributing factors, we don't reach our life maximum life expectancy of 120 to 150 years. And not only that, normally we might even suffer of diseases, we might have a, a prolonged painful death, which is actually quite unusual in wildlife. So the normal thing would be to have a more sudden death and don't have long suffering before that. But it's not like this because of these contributing factors that I will talk about in my next video. Stay tuned. Um, okay, so primary aging, secondary aging. But what's happening in ourselves? Why are we aging? Well, I mentioned the most important aging processes within ourselves. First of all, you might have heard of the telomeres. The telomeres are actually protective caps on our chromosomes at the end of our chromosomes. They protect the encoded DNA. They protect the proteins 
and they guarantee that the information that is expressed from the DNA, the proteins, the hormones that are built due to the DNA, that is encoded on the, on the chromosomes, that they, they are um, built correctly, you know, that they are produced correctly. So, um, telomeres get shorter from mitosis to mitosis. So every time a cell divides itself, also the telomeres shorten a little bit. That's the normal process. But again, think back to the contributing factors of secondary aging. Those contributing factors, if we have bad life circumstances, if we have a lot of bad influence, these telomeres can shorten more quickly. And there is absolutely no doubt about it that the shorter the telomeres, the older you are, the more signs of aging you will show. Signs of aging, what are signs of aging? Well, we all know, sagging skin, wrinkles, uh, hair loss, but not only that, not only the beauty um, factors, also all the civilization sicknesses again. So aging and beauty can't be divided. It's the same thing because it starts in every cell of your body. And one of the aging pro processes taking place is the telomere shortening. So you can find young people who live under very stressful situation, in very stressful situations, for example, um, or have very bad life circumstances, and therefore uh, you find very short telomeres in these young people, and therefore they age quicker, whereas you can have elderly people who live under almost perfect life conditions, and therefore have rather long telomeres for their age. So science is very certain about that. The shorter your telomeres, the older you are, the older your cells are, the more aging um, signs you show on the outside. Well, that's, that's that about telomere shortening, about the telomeres. Second thing, aging process toxic accumulation of toxins in our cells. So where do the toxins come from? Well, here again, we do have internal toxins that are built within our bodies, for example, due to long lasting negative stress situations. And external toxins, environmental toxins that we take in through food, through cosmetics on our skin, through the air, through um, water we are drinking, um, beverages we are drinking, smoking apparently, um, detergents and so on. So we have on the one hand we have internal toxins, on the other hand external toxins. An accumulation of toxins in the cell leads to failure, leads to failure in communication with other cells, leads to failure in the production of proteins and hormones who are the, that are, which are the, um, the messengers in our blood, which are the, the uh, everything spilled out of proteins within our body. So we need the correct production of proteins and hormones within our body. If we have failure there, it means we have fail, organ failure is the next step, you know? If we have um, failure in the production of hormones, it means we'll have um, malfunction of certain areas of our body. And here is the thing, 
the body always tries, our body is wonderful, our body is divine, is magical. And our body always tries to keep a healthy, beautiful, healthy balance. It tries to detoxify. It really tries to get rid of those toxins. And when we're speaking about those internal toxins, think for example, uh, when we have uh, long lasting negative stress situations, we build, we're building stress hormones. And these stress hormones, they make us fit um, for, this is a normal stress reaction, you know, stress response of our body. It's, it's good, you know, we can, um, we function well, we can react to the stress uh, situation. We, um, we can, for a short time, um, our performance will, will be um, even better, you know. But um, after a stress situation, there should come a, a situation, there should come, um, it should stop and there should be a, a time for relaxation. Because in that time, during that time, the body gets rid of the stress hormones that were there. It gets rid of the toxins because they get toxic after a while. And if the body doesn't get this time to, to fight back to its balance, if it doesn't get this relaxation time, the stress hormones become toxic for our body. Because if they lead to inflammation process, to inflammation um, in, within ourselves. And this inflammation process is that can start after long, they definitely do start with long lasting stress, lead to the so called inflammation. So when it comes to that, we accelerate aging. If we have a um, too high intake of toxins, from the environment, same thing. Accumulation of toxins in the cell, within the cell, leads to malfunction, leads to failure in the production of proteins, leads to the body then tries to, also for example, you've heard of free radicals, they are toxic to our body, the body tries to keep the balance, it's, it tries to, um, to, uh, Balance also acids. If you have too much acid in your body, it tries to neutralize this. Um, and how does it do it? For example, it, it tries to neutralize too much acid that you take in with your food, with um, a bad diet, you know. It takes, it needs to neutralize, it needs certain minerals. For example, magnesium, for example, natrium, for example, copper. And it has to take those minerals from somewhere. So it withdraws those minerals from certain depots in your body. For example, the hair, you know, um, depots. So it takes the copper from here because it needs it to neutralize the acid within your body or to get rid of certain toxins with the result that you will get rid or with the result if it withdraws the magnesium from your bones or the calcium uh, from your bones with the result that you get a um, uh, problem in those parts of you. So let me repeat some of the most important aging processes that take place in your body. It's the telomere shortening that will get worse or that accelerates with certain contributing factors from the outside, like, for example, long-lasting negative stress. Then the second thing is the accumulation of toxins within the cells. 
we have to distinguish between internal toxins that come from, for example, long-lasting negative stress reactions within your body. So the stress hormones that become toxic after a while. And on the other hand, external toxins, environmental toxins that we take in through food, through water, beverages, through cosmetics on our skin, through the air, through detergents, different kinds of things. So toxins, if the body can't get detoxified in time, if it can't get rid of these toxins anymore, we have a problem because that leads to failure within the cell and then within the organ where the cells are, you know? Because the body always tries to keep a balance. So that's the main purpose of the body, it tries to stay healthy. It really fights for you, you know, it does its best for you to keep a balance, to keep clean, to keep pure. So that's what it does, it detoxifies, you know, it tries to get rid of all the bad influence. But, unfortunately, some of us, we do everything to make this business of our body as difficult as possible. With all these contributing factors to aging. So, that's what I wanted to tell you about aging. And I'll be back with a short input on what are the five main contributing factors to it. Goodbye.